Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, June 20th, 2023 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, when it comes to life, I stay in my curious. <laughs> and we are in our last day of sun in Gemini. We will have the sun moving into Cancer early in the day on Wednesday, 7.58 a.m. Pacific time, we'll have the sun moving into Cancer. Um, welcome to my degree. <laughs> so I am a 29 degree Gemini ascendant. And it's an interesting energy to move through. And this is going to be made even more interesting to move through as it will be in conjunct Pluto. Now, to be fair, the in conjunction will not actually reach its peak until 3.20 a.m. on Wednesday, but we are going to feel this energy building. And in conjuncts are uncomfortable, so we're going to be uncomfortably looking at our colonic, the plutonic colonic. Um, adding to this, we actually have the moon in Cancer finishing up today and opposing Pluto. So we've got these two Pluto energies working us. And I kind of want to do just a mini, not full, like, status of the astro. Because we have a lot of things going on right now. And I'm just hearing from everybody, like, everybody's like, whoa, just like that. Um... The south node in Scorpio is finishing up over the next month. On July 18th, it will be shifting. They will both, both nodes will be shifting. Um, the north node in Taurus is where we want to lean into, which is abundance and pleasure and like the goodness of being on this planet. And yet that south node stuff, the fear, the survival stuff, those dark shadowy places that we don't want to look at in ourselves and others, all of that is up right now. Um, and for the next month, this energy is being pushed because we need to look at it. Uh, so trust in these things that are coming up that are so uncomfortable. This is good because it's cycling its way out. Now, when I speak of cycling its way out, the Saturn in Pisces energy that just went retrograde. Saturn in Pisces is already making us work through lifetimes of stuff and specifically like the last 30 years of stuff. <laughs> that last 30 years of anything that you didn't finish karmically, that is up in this energy as well. And I feel like Saturn retrograde is like, okay, here's our second review. Are you getting it? We want to get it through this pass because you don't want it. You don't want Saturn nailing you the third pass. Somebody texted me today, Saturn is a doozy. And I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah, Saturn is a doozy. It is a challenge. Saturn in Pisces is so extra because it really does bring so many layers for us to look at. And so when you're like, oh my gosh, I thought I dealt with this layer and it's here again, good because it just shows like you're you're one layer closer to being able to release it um is there anything else that like really is like pulling a punch right now i mean pluto at 29 degrees any planet at 29 degrees packs an extra punch it is a master degree it requires mastery and so through all of this pluto's like are you standing in your power are you being the authority <laughs> Are you giving your power away? Um, are you just like hurling it out the window? So keep that in mind in and through all of this as well. The final thing that I want to remind you just in this kind of state of the astro thing, but this is the top of the cards and this is what came to my mind when I looked at this. We're all in this together. There is nobody who's just like, maybe. If you're skipping through life right now, please let me know. But nobody I have talked to or seen is just like skipping la-di-da through life. Like we're all kind of like, Frogs in a pot. <laughs> what are you doing, universe? Um, it's pushing us to our potential. For better or for worse. You know? It is not easy for any of us right now. Um, did, you, did you hear? 
Joe and Mahalo both had to like make little little references to that. So it's not easy for anyone right now. Just keep that in mind. We're all in this together. We're all just trying to get through the best we can. Um, so in today's astro, finishing up the moon in Cancer, this moon in Cancer preparing us for sun in Cancer, making us feel the feels around all this stuff that is up. Uh, moon opposite Pluto is a little bit of a tug of war. It's finding the balance of empowering your feelings. Empowering them so that you're like, yes, these feelings are indicating something that I need to be aware of. But again, not fully giving your power away to your feelings where you're like spiraling. And that is an interesting um, tightrope walk <laughs> to try to register. Now, at the same time as this interesting energy, Lilith, who's hanging out in Leo, Lilith is aligning with Pallas. And Pallas... Pallas is an asteroid, Pallas Athena, but what I've seen a lot of times is Pallas can really represent a lot of the daddy issues, a lot of the patriarchal issues, and so Lilith is like, up yours. <laughs> so we may find ourselves feeling extra rebellious to authority, including our own. Watch that. Including the authority of your soul <laughs> um, in and through this energy. So be aware of that tendency coming through today. Maybe some of that Leo ego rising up. Um, where can we bring forth the heart? Speaking of the heart, the moon will be moving into Leo uh, 3.04 p.m. to bring in solstice. I love a Leo moon for solstice on Wednesday, but that moon in Leo is going to be exposing those egoic psyche places that are kind of hiding as we have these in conjuncts with Pluto. And that is what Luce has to say about that. Um, let's look at these other cards. We're feeling the conditioning, we're feeling the authority, and it's 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 tightening around us. And sometimes we need some of these things to come in and tighten and heighten so that we can finally take those steps in breaking free, moving towards the light. Look for these mirrors. Stay curious about it because when you stay curious about it, that's when solutions can come through. And what comes through with solutions? Healing beautiful healing energy. All of this is ultimately meant to help us heal. All of this is meant to help us rise up and grow. And I know it's bananas. Um, so I'm in it with you. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to leave that here for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, Mimi Clark at gmail.com. Oh, something I didn't mention. Venus. Venus has hit the shadow period. That's one of the things I wanted in the state of the planets. Sorry. Venus is in her shadow now prior to this retrograde. Mars is also hanging out in these shadow places. So you're getting these first layers of those lessons and it's bringing up a lot of worth stuff. And speaking of the ego, it's going to be kind of broadcasting through that. So watch for that as well. Um, so now, book a read. And besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. You so have the power. And honor your values. Lean into pleasure and take the time for curiosity. Namaste.